Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cool Selly Pad. Hey, today we're gonna have a discussion starter. So this is gonna be more of a, hmm, how should we say, a vlog, okay? So discussion starter on fuel lines, and also I need to take care of Lazarus. Lazarus, he's come back to life. Yes, Lazarus, the trailer. I need to do a couple of things on Lazarus. Thank you so very much to Bill Sands who donated some of the parts for this. It's a very windy day, so I hope it doesn't really affect the audio quality too well. But as you can see, um, yeah, I'm having a little issue with a couple of the posts. And it's all because they lacked the correct hardware. And driving down the road, jostling around, well, you know, yeah, one of them fell off. And yeah, not real good. This side held up pretty well because it has the correct hardware. But I did get several of these from Bill Sands, obviously, because he is uh, not having a troop carrier. Um, his has turned into a rather awesome Overland Expedition vehicle that's just off the hook unbelievable. But you've probably already seen that if you've watched some of my videos. If you haven't watched the videos, then, oh man, they are a must to see. I have a really cool playlist that you really need to check out. Anyway, let's get this started. While I'm thinking about it, YouTube does its notifications a little bit strangely. If you comment on my video, I will see it and I will comment back. But if you comment on my comment, I never see it. I don't get a notification for that. So if you really want me to see your comment, please make another fresh comment. Don't comment on the same thread. Sorry, but that's just the way YouTube works. Well, out of all of these that I have, I don't have the exact one to go into that right rear post. The, the ones with the handles in them are slightly different. The hardware is slightly different than the others. So what I've done is uh, I've actually moved some hardware, got the correct hardware. You can tell it's correct because it has that little split in the bolt. Okay, and it has a head like this. You'll have to get a pair of vice grips or some channel locks to put that on. And just to make sure, I went ahead and put some thread lock on it so it won't come out. And I think that is going to be good enough for what I need. And here's a little note to self. Make sure that these are installed, not tight, but a little bit loose. So maybe about two turns, there we go. That would be enough. Maybe two turns away from solidly seated. All right. Good thing the thread lock wasn't dry yet. <laughs> You'll know that it's all the way in when this is flush and this is all the way towards the rail. Now I'd like to start a discussion on 
fuel lines. These are an old set of fuel lines, and you know, the surface of them, I'd have to look really close at these to see the very, very hairline surface um, cracks that are in this hose. I'm sure this hose is going to be good to go for many, many years. Diesel is not a explosive kind of fuel. Heck, you could take a lit match and throw it into a pool of diesel. It won't light. A lit cigarette, try that too. It won't light. Relatively speaking, diesel is probably one of the most, hmm, safe fuels that there is. I, I guess that, yes, there are some instances where, you know, these, these trucks um, or a diesel truck might actually uh, catch fire and maybe burn up. Um, because of a fuel spill, I maybe, I mean, everything is possible, but I would imagine that the majority of fuel spill related fires are much higher in gasoline versions than there are in diesel versions. So let me get back to this. I bought a set of these, I'll show you that. And what it basically is, is hydraulic hose. Um, it's rated for 3,250 PSI, has you know all of the same connectors. The only difference, the only difference that I can see in this set here, other than the exorbitant price that you would pay for the OEM, um, styled hoses and connectors and what of what five hundred dollars versus this hundred and fifty eight is that the orifice right inside here is almost imperceptibly a little smaller. This one is a little smaller, but if you do fluid dynamics, you will know that how many gallons are going through this line per minute. Not very many. <laughs> Uh, it, it is a fraction. It is a fraction of gallons per minute that go through this. Okay, the only thing that you're going to notice if you were to even do any kind of scientific study was that at that orifice. In fluid dynamics, Bernoulli's principle states that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in static pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential energy. I learned this because I was a pilot. But that's about it. Okay, the flow of this is going to be virtually the same as the flow of the other lines. And having that little bit smaller orifice is not gonna make one speck of difference. It isn't like these things are pumping 10 gallons per minute or more, that this is going to actually cause any kind of issue whatsoever. Again, hey, that's, that's how fluid dynamics work. It's science. If you have some kind of engineering logical reason why I shouldn't use these and there should be um, a different set or I should, you know, just, you know, ditch these and, and buy the $500 pair, um, please let me know in the comments. But I'm at least schooled enough in engineering and fluid dynamics that I know that this is not going to be a problem. If it was pumping through a lot, then I would say maybe. Um, you know, just like this is a hydraulic line here, basically. And you know that if you try to pump too much through a small hydraulic line, you're going to run into issues. There's not that much diesel being pumped through these things. So I think we're good to go. I'll put a link in the description of uh, where I got those hoses from and what the part numbers are for them. So if you would like to uh, partake in that little bit cheaper value, um, you can. So I've looked at all of um, Malachi's hoses and I don't see any issues whatsoever in any of them. Yeah, sure, there might be some very, very small surface cracks. Um, I mean, they're hairline, they're, they're just on the outside. Um, do I think that there's any kind of issue with them? No, I don't. But I do have an extra set if that time comes where I do have to replace these, at least I have a full set. In parts of the country where you really have to worry about dry rotting, you know, you might want to replace them if you have a 1996 like I do. Me, I don't think that this vehicle was in any place where it would dry rot. It, I think it was in Washington State. <laughs> and if anything, it's going to mildew and rot the normal way, not dry rot, that's for dang sure. I'm gonna end this video by evicting some unwanted guests the most humane way that I can think of.
Check it out. Yes, it's a fake owl. Why? Birds have built their nest in there. Now, they've already hatched out and uh, they brooded and hatched out, so I just don't want them coming back now. Now that the babies are gone, I just, hey, this is not a place for you to nest, go somewhere else. And this will help do it. Until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.